In this lecture, we will solve one problem based on analysis of BJT amplifier circuit with voltage divided by S. We will use RE model as the equivalent model of transistor. In this problem, we need to determine resistance RE. RE is the dynamic emitter resistance and it is equal to 26 millivolts divided by the emitter current IE. In the B part, we have to calculate the input impedance and the output impedance. In the C part, we need to find out the voltage gain and in the D part, in the last part, we have to find out the current gain. This is the network and in this network, you can see VCC is equal to 16 volts. Resistance R1 is equal to 39 kilo ohms. Resistance R2 is equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. Resistance RC is equal to 3.9 kilo ohms and resistance RE is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms. You can see capacitor C1 is equal to 1 microfarad. Capacitor C2, capacitor C2 is also equal to 1 microfarad and capacitor C3, the bypass capacitor is equal to 10 microfarad. Beta is equal to 100. RO, the output resistance in RE model is equal to 50 kilo ohms. It is not equal to infinity. It is equal to 50 kilo ohms, which is a large resistance. And as we have already discussed, in case of common emitter configuration, resistance RO is not equal to infinity, but it is very large. And in case of common base configuration, the output resistance RO is nearly equal to infinity. Now by using this information, we will first calculate the dynamic emitter resistance RE. So let's move to the solution of part A. And in order to calculate the dynamic emitter resistance RE, we need, we need current IE. And to find out current IE, we have to perform the DC analysis. And in case of DC, the reactance offered by the three capacitors is equal to infinity so i will open circuit all the three capacitors c1 c2 and c3 after this we will find out we will find out thevenin's equivalent circuit because we have the voltage divided bias and in case of voltage divided bias we first obtain the thevenin's equivalent circuit if we consider the circuit inside the rectangle as the load then we have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit having the load connected in series with the Thevenin's resistance RTH and the Thevenin's voltage VTH. We can draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit like this. This point is having the potential equal to VTH. This resistance here is the resistance RTH. Then we have the load connected in series. The load is having the transistor and then we have the resistor RC which is equal to 3.9 kilo ohms and the potential of this point is equal to VCC and you can see VCC is equal to 16 volts so we have potential equal to 16 volts then we have the emitter resistance 1.2 kilo ohms the emitter resistance 1.2 kilo ohms and this end of the resistance is connected to the ground so this is the thevenin's equivalent circuit and thevenin's voltage vth is equal to vth is equal to resistance r2 multiplied with vcc divided by r1 plus r2 thevenin's resistance rth is equal to R1 parallel R2 where R1 is 39 kilo ohms and R2 is 4.7 kilo ohms. We have already discussed these points in the voltage divided bias lecture. I will quickly calculate voltage VTH and resistance RTH. VTH is equal to 1.72 volts. R2 is equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. VCC is equal to 16 volts R1 is equal to 39 
kilo ohms and R2 is equal to 4.7 kilo ohms. When you solve this, you will have 1.72 volts as the value of voltage VTH. RTH is equal to R1 parallel R2. This means R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. When you solve this, you will have RTH equal to 4.194 kilo ohms. Now we have VTH, we have RTH. Now we can easily calculate the ammeter current, i.e. current in this branch is IB, the base current and current in this branch is the collector current. I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop. We have VTH minus IB RTH drop across this resistance. Then we have minus VBE minus VBE then minus IE 1.2 kilo ohms drop across this resistance. Using this equation we will first calculate the base current IB. We already know we already know the ammeter current IE is equal to IB plus IC. IC is equal to beta IB so we have IB plus beta IB or we can write beta plus 1 IB and it is equal to ammeter current IE I will put this value in this equation so we have we have VTH minus IB RTH minus VBE minus in place of IE we will have beta plus 1 IB we can easily calculate IB from this equation IB is equal to VTH minus VBE divided by resistance RTH plus beta plus 1 multiplied with 1.2 kilo ohms we know VTH it is equal to 1.72 volts we know VBE it is 0.7 volts for silicon transistor RTH is equal to 4.194 kilo ohms beta is equal to 100 and the ammeter resistance is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms when you solve this you will have base current IB equal to 8.134 micro amps now we will calculate the collector current the collector current IC is equal to beta times IB beta is equal to 100 and IB is equal to 8.134 microamps so the collector current IC is simply equal to 813.4 microamps we have base current we have collector current we can easily calculate the ammeter current when you add IB and IC the ammeter current IE is equal to 0.821 milliamps the ammeter current IE is equal to 0.821 milliamps now I will divide 26 millivolts by current IE which is equal to 0.821 milliamps 0.821 milliamps and it is equal to 31.6 ohms and this is the value of dynamic emitter resistance RE and this is the answer of our first part now we will move to the calculation of input impedance and the output impedance in order to calculate the input impedance and the output impedance we need the AC equivalent circuit and to obtain the AC equivalent circuit we first need to short circuit all the DC voltage sources we will short circuit VCC then we will short circuit all the capacitors because reactance offered in case of AC is equal to 0 ohms so we will short circuit all the capacitors and you can see when you short circuit the capacitor C3 resistance RE is also short circuited and after that we will rearrange this circuit to obtain the AC equivalent circuit I will directly draw the AC equivalent circuit this is the AC equivalent circuit of the BJT amplifier circuit. You can see resistance 4.7 kilo ohms 
and 39 kilo ohms are connected in parallel so instead of having these two resistances we will have single resistance which is the equivalent resistance and i will represent this equivalent resistance by r prime and it is equal to 4.7 connected in parallel with 39 kilo ohms when you solve this you will have 4.194 kilo ohms which is equal to resistance rth all these three resistances are in kilo ohms in the next step i will replace the transistor by its equivalent model by its equivalent re model because we need to calculate the input and output impedances and for that purpose we must have the equivalent circuit of this transistor in this circuit we have replaced the transistor by its equivalent model this resistance is resistance r prime which is equal to 4.194 kilo ohms this resistance is beta plus 1 re and the current through this resistance is ib this is input voltage this current is input current this is current dependent source and it is equal to beta ib current is ic the collector current this resistance is the output resistance ro which is equal to 50 kilo ohms already given in the problem and this resistance is 3.9 kilo ohms 3.9 kilo ohms this voltage is the output voltage and this current is the output current now we will calculate the input impedance the input impedance is the impedance seen from this terminal zi is equal to r prime connected in parallel with beta plus 1 re r prime connected in parallel with beta plus 1 re beta plus 1 re is equal to 3.19 kilo ohms and r prime is equal to 4.194 kilo ohms and for simplification r prime must be greater than equal to 10 times beta plus 1 re which is not true in this case so we will calculate zi by multiplying r prime with beta plus 1 re and then dividing it by r prime plus beta plus 1 re when you solve this you will have the input impedance equal to 1.811 kilo ohms now we will calculate the output impedance the output impedance is the impedance seen from this two terminals and it is equal to zo is equal to ro connected in parallel with 3.9 kilo ohms ro connected in parallel with 3 0.9 kilo ohms ro is equal to 50 kilo ohms given in the problem ro is equal to 50 kilo ohms and if ro is greater than equal to 10 times rc then we can neglect ro rc is equal to 3.9 kilo ohms so 10 time rc is 39 kilo ohms whereas ro is equal to 50 kilo ohms so this condition is true and we can neglect ro therefore zo zo is simply equal to resistance 3.9 kilo ohms so we have calculated the input impedance it is equal to 1.811 kilo ohms and we have also calculated the output impedance it is equal to 3.9 kilo ohms and they are they are the answers of b part c part and d part are the homework problems for you in c part you need to calculate the voltage gain and in the d part you need to calculate the current gain and once you have your answers post them in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one